um, I've never done a YouTube video before, but um, I did my first time doing crochet Senegalese twist, and I was really happy with the results, and I got a lot of compliments today, so I kind of wanted to do a YouTube video in case some people who were afraid to do it, who've never done anything like that before, I wanted to see, um, you know, from a newbie's perspective, um, what are some tips and things I found, because I've seen some people who've done it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, um, what's the difference between a why it looks good and why it doesn't? Not that I'm an expert, not saying mine is perfect, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, it can move. I can wear it up in a ponytail if I wanted to. The back even looks good. Um, can't really see that in this picture right now. Um, the braid pattern I used was, I found one video that had lots of small braids going back. Then you join two at a time in two. So you braid it in three sections. Um, so about four, five, about maybe 16, 12, 14 to 16 braids going across the front. Um, I don't really have um, thick hair or what you call a bigger head for some people might so they do um because i know most people are saying they use six packs six plus um i have about five and a half packs in my hair if i really wanted to get away with it i think i could have gotten away with five packs um when i was in the store i was trying to figure out should i use small jumbo regular for mine i use the regular size um i'm pretty happy with the size i didn't want to go with the jumbo size and I didn't want my hair looking so big and puffy and full, so I like this. So this is about five and a half packs. Um, made sure it's a lot thicker in the front so I don't have as much gaps in the front. Um, so when you move it around. And my hair is actually dyed. Um, my, na my natural hair right now, I'm natural. And my hair is like a, um, um, what you would call auburn color. So you can't even really see my hair when I was braiding my hair down I did put some just 99 cent pack braiding hair in there just a little bit to give my hair some body so it's not just pulling on my natural hair um, so I did the small braids in the front I did then for every two braids in the front the middle section I just gathered and joined for every two and then the back I did the same again so it keeps getting bigger as you get to the back so you're not putting as much hair in the back as you do in the front so you get the full without the big and the heavy it does get a little heavy it's not really heavy um, it's fine when it's down just feels kind of heavy when you put it up in a ponytail or when you're trying to sleep on it um, anything else think you should know um, um I think that's pretty much it oh also um, some I noticed with my packs some packs the attachment loops were tighter than others so I'd recommend that maybe one thing I would do differently when from doing it again is I would check my hair in the store or open the packs when I get home so I can see the ones that are tighter to make sure I use the tighter ones in the front which I ended up doing um, but I have some looser ones up here because I did mine in a circular pattern I did my front I did two rows in the front and then I started in the back and then I just started coming up and around so I kind of ended in here um, once I knew I had enough hair but I made sure I put my tighter ones because if you look and see I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell in the video I have some of these the hair like these the braids are a little looser than these are a little tighter so it kind of gives you that look of when you actually go get your hair twisted and you have two people braiding your hair you can kind of tell looking at it um, so I think in the store next time I'm gonna make sure all the twists are kind of more uniform because I like the tighter ones um, they seem to hold tighter on the hair the looser ones I'm a little nervous like even feeling them right now I can feel them looser in my hair so I knew they wouldn't have been as tight around the scalp um, so if I did that again also um, you get really close to where you start your braids when you're putting in the end ones but you don't want to go in front because you're going to put a lot of damage on your hair so really close but you don't really need to go in front it's still going to give you the image I don't know if you can see of a beginning of a braid anyway so, I mean, 
I think it, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's crochet, so there's no way it's going to look exactly like you got your hair braided in. But I think it's not bad considering that it's crochet. I mean, if you look straight on taps, you can see, okay, it's a row of hair. But for the most part, you can kind of play with it. And there's less people are up in my business more than they need to be. Um, they can't tell as much. And I mean, for the most part, sorry, my camera won't sell. When I'm out like this, my hair looks just as good as if I got it Senegalese. If you want to be all up in my roots, okay, the um, $150 I saved, I'm okay with that look. I'm okay with it because I could still, as you can see, and when I get my hair cornrowed, I can't, I mean, when I get my hair Senegalese twist, I can't do all of this the next day. I mean, I did, I finished this last night. It did take me, because I'm a slower braider and I'm more of a perfectionist when it comes to actual braiding it, I go slow with my cornrows. It took me about an hour and change to cornrow it and then about two and a half to three hours for the install. It probably won't take you that long. I'm really slow. Um, but for me, I was okay with that time. Um, I would have probably started a little earlier because I finished like two in the morning. But usually when I get braids, I can't do all this. Oh no, I would hurt somebody if they tried to do this right after I got my hair done. So um, I'm very happy. I'm content. And if I take this down in a month, I won't be mad where my Senegalese twist, when I normally get my hair braided or twisted, I got to keep it up for a long time because it costs way too much money not to. So, yep, that's my spiel. Um, if you have any questions, I guess, uh, let me know. So, beginner's guide to crochet twists. All right.